This has been a party that is built on idealism. This is a party now will have to navigate its future in an atmosphere of power. That's the fundamental difference. When you are building a party on idealism, you bring together the best in people. When you are structuring a party in power, you might well bring in the worst in people because then interest becomes more important than idealism. I have sensed that we have changed the political landscape and we must now negotiate the furtherance of this party in the new environment of power. And with power comes the influence of things that were not here before. In idealism, there was a sense of purity. In power, as I said, there is a sense of interest. But I feel so too that I'm leaving the party with sound foundations that they can navigate, navigate the road in the politics of power. That to me is a challenge that whoever emerges will have to face up to. And that will require a level of commitment to the party, but a level of understanding of the ideals of the party. And I've always felt that the sovereignty of a country is best protected by having independent political parties that aspire to the highest noble cause of politics. That is what your role is. To protect the sovereignty of Trinidad and Tobago, you must have independent political parties that do not succumb to the politics of division and the politics of race, but the independent parties that is built on rational choice. So I want you, because that will be your contribution to the protection of the sovereignty of Trinidad and Tobago over years to come. Well, indeed, we launched this party some few years ago. I said it was my desire and hope that this will be the planting of a mustard seed that will become the tallest political tree in Trinidad and Tobago. I feel sure. I don't know when. I don't know how. But I feel sure that the Congress of the People is in fact the genesis of that tallest political tree that will emerge in Trinidad and Tobago in the years to come. The consciousness of the people of this country will rise and you will become the authors of the new destiny, political destiny of our country. I'm happy as the, as the political leader speaking to you for the last occasion in that capacity to warn you that that is really what our goals are all about. We can maintain this tradition of accountability to our membership at all costs. I say that because I sense that the politics of power is going to bring into play the politics of money. And we must have our clothes clean if we want to fight the dirtiness of the politics of money in Trinidad. I am really in very, very happy to see how this party has emerged. I'm very, very pleased that I feel internally satisfied that I was involved with you and with many others who were here before in setting the seeds for the growth of a political party in democratic Trinidad and Tobago. One that I believe will ensure that our democracy is alive our sovereignty is protected and our people will feel proud of us. So I end by saying to all of you, feel proud. You have done a lot. You have kept this party alive. You have kept the vision alive. You have kept the prospect for a good democracy to develop. Don't ever give it up. I know that this party is strong today. Perhaps stronger than it was at any time other than just before the 2007 election. But I sense that this party, given what has happened in the political landscape, is stronger today than it has ever been for some time. But I also feel convinced 
notwithstanding the fact that we started the political campaign here today, that after the political campaign, this party will remain even stronger because of this campaign. And I ask all our candidates to ensure whatever they may say and do, that this party must be seen as a party of strength, of the party of character, and of the party that will serve this nation, all people, and the next generation admirably. So leave here today with a sense of satisfaction that the road that has been difficult, tortuous, and hard at times have come to a point, a point in which I have absolutely no doubt, notwithstanding what people say, that this party will grow from strength to strength. And those who have offered themselves for leadership of this party, I say to them, we must thank you for so doing. Thank you very much.